Hello. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello. And we have Ku. Yo, yo. All right. So this is the show where we're just going to discuss uh, the episode of Shoku Tensei that just recently aired. Uh, shout out to everyone who's commented on the videos, and shout out to Stren who's replied to those. Thanks, Thanks guys. The Always. comments are good, man. You guys should actually like read them. Tell you what, if you guys want to come to our Discord channel and talk with us there, we can definitely go more in depth. But um, I am reading the comments. I just don't know how to respond to it without spoiling it. Because as of right now, it's hard for me to talk without spoiling things. So I'm trying to just control myself. Yeah. Yeah, come check out our Discord channel. So we'll talk there. Yep. Thanks, you. So shout out to all you people. Uh, I appreciate it. We're almost done this season. So. Let's finish strong. Uh, this episode, Stren sounds like he has a lot of things he wants to say. He has a lot of things on his mind. So why don't you start with off, sir? What, what, do you, what do you want to talk about for this episode? <laughs> this turning point, as you mentioned, turning point two. Okay. So, uh, I mean, up to like this point, I've been uh, I've been becoming more of a more of a fan of uh, of Rudy. And, oh my god. I, I don't think I've ever... I've, it's been a while since I've hated a character as much as him at the at that moment. When it's just like the okay, the only reason why I'm saying this is because like if if you could give somebody like a negative status for basically like awareness, like Rudy would be that guy. Because you basically see of all people, like, Rouger is absolutely just fucking terrified. He wasn't moving. Ares wasn't moving, and this motherfucker just like basically completely forgets everything that's going on and just starts talking to this guy like they're fucking friends. I'm thinking, dude, what is your fucking pro- like? The entire I'm basically cussing with to myself while <laughs> watching to this guy, and then it, all of a sudden just everything just snaps. I'm just thinking like like what did you honestly fucking expect to happen in that situation? That's, like it's just it's so funny. Oh. That's funny. If that's the first thing you brought up because I thought I was gonna be the one that complains about that. But dude, no, all right, we're on the same page. Yeah. Then, Shred. <laughs> I, I immediately thought like all right, like all right, me and okay. Dave are gonna have something to, to talk about because I didn't think you were gonna miss that point either. <laughs> It was oh, okay. it was just it was so infuriating. Like, I think okay. Oh my god. I wanna say for 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 me, like I think it's just a shame because like the whole point is like Rudy's supposed he's been through so much. He's had he's had character development. Like we've seen that with like even the, like last season, this season. So so like we we see how like he's not he was supposed to be not as naive anymore. Yep. And then look what happens here. Just like just yeah. like Stratton says, you think he would like read the mood. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Talk about just like just having none of that. Well, in the, in the like, in David, like previous episodes too, where uh, they've had like, you know, where Rouge Jared has had serious conversations with Rudy about um, about basically like being as a team, like not kind of in a sense going on your own. And it's just like uh-huh. basically Rouge Jared's just hot times you know, telling Rudy, don't move. Like basically, like don't look at the guy. Just basically let it go. And the first uh-huh. thing he does is turn around and start talking to this guy. <laughs> just uh-huh. and it was just oh god. Sorry, David. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I just and then um I was gonna say what else? Oh, they tried to say how you know trying to excuse it, saying how oh like you know Rudy doesn't have he doesn't he can't feel the curse because he's huh? he's a, he's not from this world. So that's that's why I mean even if you don't notice it, like you should have. I think like. You should have felt how scared, like they these two, these two yeah. close companions have been traveling for what, like two years now. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was just like, oh my god, it was just I don't know. I I just hated him so much right there. Uh, it was it was just uh, it was just bad. All right, um, cool. Do you have anything to say for this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I just think it's pretty funny. So, um, <laughs> to to be honest though, like. I didn't really like how they kind of just rushed to the scene. And oh yeah, I should ask you, Ku, uh, too. It, was it the same in the, the the original source? Oh god, no! Like okay. there was actually more thought process put into it, right? Okay. Like what happened to Rudy when he was fighting against Orsted? Like why he started talking to Orsted? Uh, it was like, different. Like, came... Oh my god! Oh yeah. my god! Like, I mean, it wasn't <laughs> as like just just like it happened in a flash, right? There was actually like thought process uh, as to why Rudy kept asking him these questions because. As of right now, I think Rudy uh, is still questioning whether or not Hirogami was telling the truth or, you know, as to, like, you know, he's still trying to figure out, like, all the supernatural stuff that's happening, right? And then, basically, I believe in the manga, uh, there was, there was, like, a important monologue or thinking process that Rudy was going through before they chose to go down this path, like, in the mountains, because there was two paths. There was, like... The path that goes over the mountains and the path that goes like through the mountains, and I, I forget exactly what happened, but there there was a lot of reasons as to why Rudy did what he did, and then to be fair, uh, the reason why you know Rudy wasn't scared that's 
kind of the reason why he even asked him in the first place because he just wanted to know what's going on and he didn't sense that malice that the other sense because well, like one he's not a fighter of high caliber so he's not able to sense uh you know like the he's not able to gauge someone's strength in a sense right. and then two like you know he just he's just rudy right like he thinks he can handle a lot of things so he thought he was safe as well so they, they kind of just rush a lot of things. So I can see why you guys were kind of angry, especially with how the seasons played out where he's constantly caught off guard. You, you know, you have Arius and Rougier there. And it was more mm-hmm. of like, you, you should be able to just see, see like how terrified they are. Basically what David said, read the mood. Well, <laughs> well, that's not really true too, because then if that's the case, uh, he would have never talked to Rougier in the first place, right? Like when he first saw Rougier, because then even even Hidogami mentioned it as well, right? When when he first met Rougier, um like he was somewhat calm, right? And he still talked to him, and because of that, they were able to, like, get to know, understand each other. Okay, but but the thing with that though, it was just it was just Rudy though. Uh, this was basically like how you know, so there was nothing to really gauge like what was going on or the mood, because at that time Rudy's by himself, he had no clue what was going on. Here it's just like you have two two uh, t- uh two teammates now that you've known for quite some time. You know how strong like you know Rougier is, so it's just like if he's scared, like you should probably just you know. Sit, sit back and wait, and every no, time I, mean, I see that, it was just yeah. question after question. It's like, dude, shut up! <laughs> it's like I didn't even know yeah. what was going on, but you just like as a viewer, you just got the mood that Orsted is just uh-huh. fucking just a beast. Yeah, no, like I said, I like from, from an anime point of view, I can totally get where you're coming from because they don't really explain the thought process mm-hmm. or why he is doing what he's doing. Yeah, and I feel like they're actually making him look worse. Orsted, how? No, no, like oh, I feel like they're okay. making Rudy. Like oh, Rudy, this whole okay. season, I feel like they're making him look worse or more uh what's the word? Reckless with his decisions. Right. Gotcha. Uh because he's actually not that he's not that like uh airheaded, uh, right? right? He actually I, has thought process what he does. Yeah. yeah. So like I assume then because in, in light in lots of light novels, like there's long lots of sections that get to monologues and like and main characters thinking. That happens a lot in light novels. So I assume that's what's happening the original source. So I can kind of see that. Our initial thoughts is just like, it's just, it's just what we're going off of, yeah. man. Like, well, that's just really dumb. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like, I'm not like hating the episode like, overall. It's ba- more of like, I'm just hating Rudy so much in this moment. Mm-hmm. Or like, for me, I thought like the, basically the animation, like the mood, like the situation, I thought they just nailed it. Because it's like, you already kind of knew, well, one, they kind of just show you what happened at the beginning. I'm like, well, Shit, let's see how we get here. And then uh, then they move to the next part where when they actually got to the mountain, everybody just stops. And you can just immediately tell, like, you know, something was up with Rouge and Arius where everybody was just, you know, just it just looked like they were just terrified of something. You couldn't see even what was going on. It was basically just like just the way deep part where there's nothing but just blowing snow. And you just kind of got like those feelings like, oh, shit, what the hell? Like it basically it was an intense moment where I thought like it's going to like shit's going to happen. And then just and then Rudy's just dumbass ruins the ruins the mood, <laughs> but no, it, like it definitely nailed that part for the like just like the feels, just the feels in a different way though. Man, all I can say though is like rip to that meal that was with them. I know. Bowl like, <laughs> or whatever. I was like, because before that could... is God, right? Yeah. <laughs> rip your stuff. Rip that animal. I yeah. mean, that shit just yeah. just. Off the mountain. Now. <laughs> I mean, sure. It just chooses death over the situation. Uh, I mean, I I say that Mio is always replaceable. So, hey, this is perfect time for a mount. They need one. Oh god. The other big part in this episode, like a lot more, I guess, like explanation. I don't want to say lore dump or going on here. Like we know more about like Hitogami. So I'm surprised that like he's actually like unknown. I guess that he's either a known thing or or said actually knows about him. So. Mm. And then I know, like, Rudy's been, like, been, he's been suspicious of Hitogami for a while. And, like, I was wondering, you know, it's just be overly cautious. Like, I don't really understand, like, where that comes from. But now, after this, now I kind of get it. Like, now like, he's starting to be more, more, more suspicious for me, for me, too. Because, like, like, they can just think about, like, why does, like, this, you know, one of the strongest people, like, in this world, why do you want to go after this god that, that, I thought, I thought he was, like, this, like, this all powerful god. But now it seems like, could I still be. Now there's definitely more to it. He yeah. could, I mean, I guess, yeah, but now there's definitely more to it than to that. Like, now it just makes me curious, like, if all the, all the advice he's been giving Rudy, it's like, is he... I I, I was, I was one... I thought he was, like, a just to be the, the generic, like, like god in these isekais that gives the protagonist all the answers, but now now I'm really questioning, like, what is his goal now? Like, what, what are you up to? Like, why, why do you want Rudy to do all these things for you, and why are you being so helpful now? Like... Yeah, so. as of like right now, it makes it feel it makes you feel like um like the gods on Rudy's side, 
for now. Like, actually, as a as a good character, with really still not knowing like you know what like, what's going on. Um, I mean, I definitely feel like Orsted is still gonna be the evil guy, or kind of like one of the final bosses. But the the whole kind of question mark is still the god. Uh-huh. I kind of like the opposite. I kind of feel like, like, now it just feels like Ortset's gonna, I feel like he has a reason to hunt down Titogami, and then I feel like, because especially when it says turning point, and how he didn't, he, like, healed back Rudy, I now just feel like, is he, like, gonna be, like, like, somewhere, either a mentor to Rudy, or, like, or maybe an ally to Rudy later on? Mm. Like, um, yeah. That's the, like that's the kind of what I'm thinking now. It's like, I'm so much more suspicious of the Hitogami, and now it's like, I'm thinking Ortsted might have a point in like trying to hunt them down so yeah. what's crazy is like i can see it going both ways like they both seem like it seems like almost like those are like the two hardcore paths that it just feels like it's going to happen but this but the thing that this show's always done though it always seems to find a different fucking path so like yeah. it seems like those two are like the two obvious but then you know we'll we'll see, actually see what happens mm-hmm. oh and tizzle mentioned that yeah last episode we learned about the blessed children i was wondering that too like oh, so yes yes Sports sets of blessed children, like so. Then the other guy, the other prince, he's a blessed children. Is he, is he gonna be OP like Orsted later on too? That's what I'm wondering. So, hmm. who? Who's I'm wondering. Zenova? Pex? Yeah. No, Zenova, because he's, he's, he's a he's blessed a blessed child. child yeah. Too. So like, is he gonna be? I wonder if he's gonna be as OP as Orsted one day. Uh, uh yeah, the potential is definitely there. But I mean, uh, as Orsted right is now, number two. As of right now, though, uh, that's the only blessed child that we know of. And mm. then there's two cursed childs, right? There's Orsted and then uh, Rougier. Rougier. Wait, is he... What's up? So there's, okay. there's cursings and then there's blessings. And blessings. Okay, I'm yeah. using the two then. Never yeah. mind. Oh, I didn't know Orsted yeah. had four curses. I thought that he just had three. No, he had multiple he had, curses. He, had four. he did have four. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. One, one, one of three. them was like one of them was like he was feared by everyone, and I don't think yeah. they don't think they mentioned the other three. I don't and know. Then, yeah, then they mentioned, they mentioned, they mentioned like uh, lap 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 plus or whatever. Lapis. Like he, yep. lap plus that uh, he he put the curse on the the, the spears. The, the spears. Mm, that's right. Okay. So, but like, but then now apparently it's all it's about to run out. So I guess so. They just basically saying like, just keep your head shaved. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, keep your head shaved. But also like like um, yeah. Rudy's efforts in trying to make them trying to change the attitudes. It's not like all in vain because the, the curse is disappearing. But like they're still. You still gotta overcome the prejudice, so but that's also like that's also like something that Hitogami asked Rudy to do as well. So so why? Why does he want like the reputation of the spears like to to go up? Because that's also that was a curse placed by Laplace and like I'm assuming Laplace has something to do with Orsted, so so now it's just like trying to figure out like it's trying to figure out like who like what are the factions and like what's yeah, what's there's, like going on here. There's still so much that basically like uh it, what sucks is like what well, we have two episodes left, I think, and so like they like they kind of just yeah. revealed a bunch of other stuff. Like that, that was the one kind of good thing about you know Rudy almost dying or basically dying is like it got to move the story forward. It was an easy way. It was an easier way to do that. When I when I still think it could have been like as impactful, where they basically if they just walk by each other and like nothing really kind of happens. If if, if Rudy has to ask a couple yeah. questions, let him, but not like basically the whole thing with the god. Um, but then yeah, I, I wanted that to happen too, well, like just walking by. Yeah, because because easily because I thought like, damn, how else would they be able to do that? But then I I just thought like, oh. you know, they go to like then they cut to them sleeping for the night or, or going up on a camp, and then basically then he has a vision with uh with Hitogami again, and then they kind of uh-huh. then move the story forward that way as well. Um, but it's I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's just it's just kind of funny, like just these random encounters that like Rudy has. Of, People just just randomly decide to like he randomly just met up with Orsted on the way, uh, like crossing his path. Yeah. <laughs> so to be fair, a lot of anime do that where they basically like uh they show the epic boss at some random point in time, then they kind of just pe- cross paths and they move on. But it's also I mean I kind of want to know, but yeah, like the whole thing is like why he even bothered to revive him, like, yeah, because and then also they didn't even really cover what uh when Aries Aries mes- mentioned like oh yeah like you know sheeps said something it's like okay what did she say but they didn't actually give like the full thing to like what that I was think, I, I think they did that just for like just to have a cliffhanger for, yeah, that, for this episode i know but i'm i'm so glad though that i actually uh picked up uh, one of aries's figures because dude, she's by far like one of my favorite characters she's <laughs> so bad i don't know i just think she's awesome she is definitely one I mean, of my favorites for sure i mean a lot, a lot of character development i mean just like back to season one like when yeah. 
like when she like got kidnapped whatever and Rudy had to save her like and now she's like basically like one of the strongest warriors yeah. being trained by by Rougier, so yeah, she's and, then, awesome. and that's again that's, that's <laughs> why I just point to point to Rudy like all the character presence he had because it's like he you know like he was being naive when he tried to rescue her and then he like just seeing like that guy's cat get caught off in front of him by by Galene like he that really affected him <laughs> yeah yeah he panicked so, he panicked like, she didn't give a shit it was just normal it was just a never normal everyday thing so it's like so Rudy's <laughs> had so much character development for then so again yeah. just going to this episode it's like man the anime did not do him any justice this this episode the yeah, animation was so good though yeah. the, like the, just a lot of those scenes like the animation just looked top notch mm-hmm. and even like with uh, some of uh uh, was it some of like Rudy's like magic like, magic moves were pretty intense? Uh, Rougeard's like you know little melee fight that was going on. I don't know. It was just all uh, it was all top notch. Yeah, as expected. Yep. It yeah, it, it looks, nice one thing I could uh, I could really applaud this episode was definitely just the choreography Dude, and the animation so of the spells. <laughs> it's like, so it's nice. So good. But man, I just hate how they left out so much stuff. Like the reason why Rudy was having issues is because like Orsted took out all the airs from his lungs so he couldn't breathe. Because then, you know, like, he figured out that Rudy was a mage, right? And then most mages have to use incantations. So then uh, that's why he took away his abilities to breathe, in a sense. And then when it turns out that he was, oh, you know, like, he didn't need to use it. He could just, like, shoot it from his hands. Yeah, like, that really happened, caught our right? off guard. Yeah. And then also the fact that they're, oh, my God, like, I want to go more into it. But, yeah, <laughs> there's so much that they cut out that it just makes Rudy look so bad, but I think it would have added so much more to the story. So I was going to say... I am like, pretty disappointed of how they how they directed it uh, this episode. Like, I don't think they should have had this fight this episode. It should have been set up this episode, and then next episode should have been the actual encounter. I was going to say, like, also, because this episode's called Turning Point, it's like, compared to the first turning... The first turning point had such had much much more of an impact on the series, or this one... There's no clue what It just feels like such, such like a random mm-hmm. encounter. And, like, and again, like, all, like, the different things that happen behind the scenes so it didn't it definitely didn't feel as impactful it just felt yeah. like we learned more things but like it's just it felt like you had a random encounter you had some rudy some being explanations of Mitsu togami and then like and then rudy just just like ruining it lucky. ruining the boot he, he like revive <laughs> i'm just saying like after he like he like gets stabbed and then goes to hitogami and then afterwards it's just like mm-hmm. then he gets revived but it's like we didn't really get to see much besides that so much yeah, it's just yeah, it's just like not as impactful as the first turning point, at least yeah. in the anime. So but it we'll may, see. I, I guess it may not have been really impactful, but uh, there was a lot of hints dropped as to the plot of the story and the direction that they're going. So, uh, you guys definitely do need to pay attention to it, especially if you're anime only, to kind of try to realize what's I've, going on. I'm I'm keeping it in mind, like like all the things that's been happening, like like especially like I feel like. I mean, like, yeah, the conversations that Orsted had and and things that like, Hitokami said, like, I'm definitely yep. keeping that in mind because, like, it feels really important. It, so is... I'm wondering, like, I'm, I'm wondering if next episode, if they're going to backtrack any of that and, like, explain or which I'm right or wrong the story. So we'll have to see. This is the one show that I, I, I always have my notes up, like, planning to take notes. Forget. Every fan. Because it basically, I just get just tunneled into the, into the episode. And then the episode ends, I look to the left at my blank sheet of paper. I was like, I got it next episode. Oh, I'll uh, take notes there. Tiffle's <laughs> asking me if I remember the mascot's name. I'm pretty sure it was Nana Hoshi. That's a sick. So, I, I thought it sounded like a really cool name. Even which though it's something I'm with assuming means. Uh, uh, Hoshi, I'm assuming the Hoshi means star. So seven, seven star. star. So yeah, with two episodes left, and then with everything that's happening, like it only, it only just shows like uh, what they plan to do, like how they plan to finish the series. So I'm still waiting for that part, right? Okay. Uh, although with this episode I am kind of worried with how they plan to uh, like like flesh it out because like I said it's I mean I, I'm, I'm worried too worried. because I'm worried because like just I don't know how much setup you can do in two episodes I just feel like Mushuk Tensei is at its best when you have like the three or four episode arcs so I'm worried how they gotta do with two episodes left mm-hmm. and now I just have more of a strong feeling that it's gotta be Stren's prediction where they just go to the town and then and it just ends with oh, just like Rif- Eric finding out about the whole thing with her family, and then cuts to black right there. I think I think it's gonna be even more strange prediction than mine. Gonna make me rage quit. <laughs> but by by rage quit, I mean you know read the original source. All I gotta say is though, like season three, oh it is gonna it's gonna pop off. It's it's yeah. You, oh, you guys just gotta wait. But just, I, just just I hold out. Just keep watching the anime. I guess Ugh. I don't know this made you or gonna make you rage quit. I can hold out, and yeah, I, I'm, I'll probably I'm so do. confident they'll, they'll do it. Like yeah, I'll probably find stuff to do. It'll be. 
I mean, if you guys like, have time, definitely read the original source. It's way better. You definitely get like the full. Well, like, I'm a. You, I mean, I'm gonna read the light novel, like, cause I I love light novels, so it's it's definitely on my list. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if if you like the series and you want to know more about it, like more in depth stuff, then yeah, definitely go ahead. But yeah, for anime, like I, like I said, it's it's nice, but I don't know how. <laughs> how says, don't, I can't hold says out. Yuku, don't read the manga. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess I said I said original source, so yeah, like like I said, well, like, original <laughs> original source is a web novel, and then and then they changed it to for like novel, and then it probably got changed for the novel or for the manga, and then more changes for the anime. So. Well, well, to be fair, I kind of forget where the manga stopped because the manga didn't get that far, to be honest, and that's why I had to go straight to the uh, the web novel. So I don't know if I read oh, the yeah. manga portion of this. I, I, I might oh, have actually yeah, just read read it. Oh, you read the, you read the web novel, okay? Yeah, because yeah. So after season one ended, I I started reading the manga, and then the manga ended, and I was like, "Fuck!" And then I was like, "Oh well, time to start reading it." So I went to the web novel, and then I just read the whole thing. Okay, but it's yeah, a, it's. I'll try to hold up. I'm I'm hoping yeah. I'm hoping like for the for the third season. I'm I'm really hoping it's only going to be like you know two like where we have to wait two seasons. I mm. really would, would rather I, not, and I definitely. I, what's up? I, it's not I going don't have to. Hope. Yeah, mm. I don't know. Because either. like if it if it got delayed from summer to fall, like yep. I I can see more is- production issues or like more delays. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And I and again, I I'm I'm hoping that they, this is a series they do for streaming so they don't have to worry about like getting it on TV as fast as possible. I think they really just want to make sure like it's good for streaming. Yeah, so then predictions. What what do you guys think is gonna happen now? I don't know. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go with Strand's prediction. I think I don't think I triple down on mine. I don't think it's happening. Especially I didn't realize it was two episodes left. I thought it was three episodes. Dude, so, but really, I'm still gonna just hold my prediction. That's I mean that, that's where I think it's gonna end. I have no clue what's gonna be next episode. Uh, I, I I really don't. The last episode though is arriving into town, and then we go from there for the third season. The only I appreciate is like because like yeah like I was opposite of Strand for like you know Orts and then Hitogami like like because Strand yeah. was predicting that like that. I was like that they're gonna eventually fight or shit later. Like I'm thinking, like Hitogami is gonna, like there's something special with Hitogami and Rudy's got team up with Orsted to fight him. Yeah. So. I thought, yeah, other than that, that was good. So that, that's that's the only other, the other prediction. So, I think we're gonna end it here for now. That's I think a lot so. of discussions, a lot a lot of ranting from me and Strain. Yeah, I mean, episode, it was still so. like I said, like it's just a solid. It was a solid episode, but I just would have preferred. Rudy to make different choices just because it's just from what we've seen, like the development, he kind of it just seems like he keeps doing same the same or similar mistakes and hoping yeah. to see something different for him in the future. But still, good. So we're in here for that. Well, uh, thank everyone for joining us. Thanks, Tizzle. Thanks, Justin, too, for joining us in chat. Well, uh, thank everyone for commenting like you always do. Thanks, guys. Shout out to Stren for for also replying to those comments. Hey, you know, and thanks everyone too in our just in our Discord as well. Always fun talking to you guys in the Discord. So we will do it again next week. We got two more episodes to go. So it's been a strong everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.